Hello, good day to you. Good day to you all. Thank you for joining. Thank you. I would like you to take a seat, relax, and enjoy my first talk through makeup tutorial. Okay, so first things first. I have no idea how long this is going to be, so <laughs> bear with me. You hear this? That helicopter does. Okay, so I'm known for talking too much. First, what we are going to do is move out anything that's like you don't need. Like that. Something that I already did was wipe down my face with witch hazel. Because you could never go wrong. In all seriousness. Um, I love to start with my eyes because in what I'm going to start out with is setting my face. <laughs> Just helps things stick a little bit better. Okay, so I know that I want to use glitter. I'm really trying to make this so straight to the point and not be a goofball. Close your eyes, baby girl. Close your eyes. I know I want to use glitter, and I know I want to use gunmetal from NYX, so let's start with wool. Um, it is a little bit dark. It's like a purpley bluish. It's so beautiful. God damn. I just want you guys to listen to this music with me. Okay, so today, this really is, I want to talk to you guys about how I do my makeup, so sorry if this kind of looks the same as what I've done before. But I'm going to start out with this ColourPop All Is Wild collaboration palette. Looks like that. Hey, that's me back there. Just relax. Do your makeup with me. Come on. Let's make it simple. I'll just use this palette. I've used this before, but <laughs> just, just watch. Alright. I just have a little bit of eyeshadow on this brush. Take a little bit of this with the BH Cosmetics brush because, pero why not? You could tap off the axis if you want, or you could go wild and be crazy. It's up to you. I'm just gonna put this in my crease. Alright, I gotta be serious now. Wait. This is like the SAT or something. One thing that I have found and learned throughout my experiences here on Earth, figure out how the makeup fits your eye shape. It doesn't matter how Sally does it or Jennifer or Ashley. Do it how your eye likes it, all right? I promise. I promise. Because if you put it where other people put it, and like say you don't have a crease, or say you have two creases, or say you have three, how is it going to work, baby? You feel me? So you just blend that until... The skin's, it's not like flaking, it's not, it's burning. I'm just kidding. Don't rub that hard. <laughs> Chafing her. Don't chafe her. You don't even have to be serious while you're doing this. I changed my mind. See that? Because I do. Alright. Let's make this quick and easy. It's not going to be like, oh my god, I just spent five hours doing this makeup look. It's like, I only spent a while because I was dancing and I was fooling around and I was having a good time, baby. Because one of my issues is like, sometimes while I'm getting ready, 
I'm really stressed out or anxious because that's just like life, you know what I mean? Before I get too deep into conversation, I'm gonna take a MAC brush. It's a 217 in case you are curiosity. And I'm gonna take this bad boy right heel. We're gonna call her Burnt Sienna, although it's called Passport. We should be able to travel worldwide, baby. Ooh, some meal brown sugar. So you're just gonna dip, 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 tap away some of the excess because we don't wanna be wild and crazy with this color. You know what, who am I to tell you what to do? Baby boy, you'll live your life. Young and wild and free. Alright, where's Khalifa? Your subliminal messaging isn't gonna mess with me. I've been thinking about for a while making a video of how to dance. Like, just dance moves. And I've seen people make videos of like that before, like, hey, dance moves to use at prom, or just dance moves to use at a party. What would you guys think about me teaching you something? <laughs> I think I saw you in another guy. Better get that puppy and put him on a leash. Yeah, you. And I'm just putting this in my crease as well, but I'm using a little bit of a smaller brush so the color doesn't spread as much. I'm kidding, there's no one over there but a blank wall. Staring at me like they got an issue. Okay, so I haven't really decided what I want to do next, so give me two seconds to think. Okay. Hey, hey, yeah. So I'm just gonna use this brush. It's a Morphe M429 brush. And I'm gonna take this dark shade right here in the middle. And I'm only gonna dig into her a little bit. I thought the best party, man. Everybody would be going buck wild. All right, dude. Okay, nobody would go buck wild. All right, so. Take this and just put it right in your crease. Just right in it. If you don't have a crease, just put it right where you would want your crease. However you want to do it, babe. It's like, who am I to tell you? Although, dude, this is this is a walkthrough makeup tutorial. You're supposed to tell us. Tell us how we did to do it. Well, I didn't say I was a teacher. I could be a substitute teacher. Alright. So put that right in your crease. I said this was going to be short, so. You thought I was falling. Alright, just. This is such a. Sorry, baby, it's not me, it's the music. The people are not here to watch a Zumba class. If any of you guys know any like all natural good hairsprays that are safe, let me know. Cause this bath water ain't working. <laughs> Somebody stop hole. Okay. Sometimes I have a tendency of like being weird with the colors and not really building them up to where anybody could see them, you know what I mean? So just sit here and blend. Damn, you guys are so welcome. <laughs> it's just the next glitter primer, but your glitter won't go anywhere, I promise. Put it on the back of my hand, baby. Little brush, just just a little guy. Get a little bit on it. And then I just put it on like where I want the glitter. Just where the glitter goes. It's not hard, I promise, watch. Just watch. Just where you want the glitter. And if you mess up, we have fingers for a reason. Wap it off. Perfect. 
and try not to get too much of it on your eyelashes. Take a little bit of my glitter. And I go like this. We're trying to stay a little bit calm. Okay. Pot of gold. I take a little brush. Vanity Planet collection. And I just dip and apply. Right where I put the primer. Watch, I promise. Promise. <gasps> of course. Come here. Alright, so see right there on my lid? Just like you've seen me do it before. Just like that. Just make sure you put enough on. So in that case, there's no transferring. There's no eyelid sticking. It's just a good time. There's never a reason to not shine. Now, just do the same thing. Just on the other eye. Just right here, right on the part you want glitter. Yes. Y'all know I'll link the songs below and she. Perfect. Okay, so next. Whee! Right. Define your crease a little bit. So many people like to pretend that eyeliner can be a certain way, a certain shape, or only fit your eye a certain way. Dude, do what you want. Like, bruh. Bruh. And you guys, this eyeliner is perfect because, like, look at how thin it is. Now that's a dagger. Nothing good ever comes of overthinking. I wanted to show you guys this song. I love it. Okay, cotton swab, witch hazel, baby. Okay, boy, boy, you've seen me using it for how long? A minute, baby. A minute. And always make sure that your hands don't have any makeup on it. All right, all right. Just 
gently massage it in. And usually I use the the UFO toner, or sorry, the UFO face oil. And I'm literally all out and it's been messing with me like you can see. Ever since I ran out of that stuff, it's like if my face gets too dry, I'm, I'm going to break out. So I'm going to try and get my hands on some more of that. And I am doing an updated skincare routine, so please keep on the lookout. And I promise I'll explain why I use these, what they do exactly, and all that. Just know this is what I use underneath my makeup. Yeah. But to each its own, you don't gotta use it just because I do. Literally, I promise. Don't spend your time trying to use everything everybody else does, expecting it's gonna have the same results when all of our skin, every single one of us, it's different, it's unique. So, don't waste your time hoping that what's working for everybody else is gonna work for you. Waste your time finding what works for you. Then, you know, it's not really time wasted in my opinion. <laughs> so anyway, I like to use my little fan. Where is it? And so, I'm going to do that. Alright, we're at the end of that playlist, baby. And if any of these songs are like repeats that you've heard before, yo, we're just chilling, we're just vibing. Alright, we're going to dry that off really quick, and it does dry pretty fast, and it tightens. Yo, it feels so good on your skin. Now I'm going to use a little bit of this Tarte. It's the Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. This, oh, it just smooths out my skin. Okay, watch. I use my little finger, only like a little bit, and I just put it right here. Okay. There's a fire when it rains, my love for you will remain the same. Woo! Okay. Maybe a little bit on your forehead. And it really does fill in your pores. Okay. And I like to do it around my nose as well. I also find it diminishes redness. Just saying. I'm going to take a little bit of the professional. I'm still learning about how I feel about this. And I'm going to put it in the same spot. Just right here. A little bit on my forehead and a little bit on my chin, actually. But focusing it right here and, like, underneath my eyes and all that. Perfect. I like it. I really, really like it. And then just to hydrate, I'm gonna put a little bit of my setting spray to cover up some scarring, any acne, redness, color, distortion, whatever you wanna call it, yo. I call it my baby love. I'm gonna just take some of the instant age rewind concealer. This works perfect for me, so never really shied away from it. And I'm just gonna put like a little bit on my cheeks. That's it. And a tiny bit on my forehead, a little bit on my chin. Then I'm gonna take this MAC brush. A lot of people ask me what it is. It's the 159, except it sheds like crazy. Purchase at your own risk. But I do love it. But it does. It sheds like a... So... Alright, I'm gonna let this like dry a little bit. Oh, girl, you know who you are. Ooh. I'm just gonna blend this out. Just listen to this song, yo. Ayy. I'm gonna focus it though just on my cheeks. Like just right here. See, there we go. What am I doing? Make them believe they can do anything. Just keep blending, guys. Just like that. The forehead. Just right in the middle. Wherever you have a little bit of scars. This is a little pale for me, I must admit, but I feel like this one is just like a little bit too dark. Like once I put the air spun over it, it doesn't match my neck. So we'll help it with bronzer. 
You feel me? Just to help a little bit with the rest, I'm going to use my Smashbox 15 hour wear. This does not break me out at all. It's water based. Freaking perfect. I literally have like multiple shades. It's worth the purchase. The bottle will last. Y'all, just feel me. Just a little bit. That's it. What do people see? Okie dokie. Okay, wipe that off you. Put a little bit of setting spray. I was gonna, cause yo, it keeps you hydrated. Like, <laughs> dry it off a little bit. And I also like to make sure it sets a little bit because then the air sponge sticks just that much better. I use my little buff, me little zip buff, and then pat her on the back like she's choking. <laughs> Set her. Alright. Chill, yo. You oh, I don't know if you heard me. This. Hold up, my iPad's tweaking. Y'all, hold up. Just, just listen. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna let this happen. Hold up. Watch. This song. Let me sit back a little bit. I'm gonna give you guys some room to breathe. And sh you feel me? It's okay. Oh. Nice. And what I like to do is dip it in a little bit, then tap it off, then proceed. We can jarray. We can jarray, baby. Walking all night long. We can jarray. And I kind of leave my nose a little empty, you feel me? With the stars. Then I just set it with one more layer. Just to make sure all the powder is real set. I'm gonna take a little bit. This thing loves to just stop recording whenever it wants. And my Vanity Planet Puff. This is another good song, guys. And then just do it. Tap off it. And I'm just gonna put it right here. Like right where my cheekbone is. I'm just gonna blend. Like that. Just right there. Right there. Same with the other side. Just right there. And wherever it fits your face. Seriously. Just right there. Create a little shadow. Doesn't have to be perfect. A little bit on your forehead. And I know I have a small forehead, but I just put so much pale colorage. You gotta bring some color back. It's just like to blend into your hairline, you feel me? Just because I feel like it. Okay? Just make sure you tap it off so it's not too harsh. Really blend it. Seamless. Just like that, baby. Just like that, you. Wherever you feel. And of course, I love putting it underneath my nose. Somebody, oh, and I love this BH Cosmetics brush for contouring. Yes, it's just tiny. It's perfect. It blends seamlessly. Yes, watch. Where's my? Right here. 
as always, I'm going to mix all three of these like that and then top it off. Just pick a side, right? I keep it like right here, again, right here, wherever that is. It's still I'm just and just blend it. Blend it up into this area and down and up onto your cheek a little bit just to blend it. Blend it up. Okay, then you just leave it, okay? I know it's harsh, but just leave it for a second. Do the other side. Same thing. Just right there. Go up a little bit, go onto your cheek a little bit, down a little bit. And keep it just right there. Go up. Okay, and so as I can see, this is a lot more choppy than this. So I'm gonna brush this off a little bit, and I'm just gonna blend. Like, I'm just gonna spend my time blending. That's it. That's literally it. Don't even show, just blend. You go to the side that's a little sketch in your own and just be like, I got you. I love you. Let's do this. I don't want to blend that side too much because it's so harsh. I'm gonna fix it with powder. I'm gonna do a little bit on my forehead again just to bring some color in, but I mostly focus it like just right here. And then I blend it out. Just like that. Perfecto. Just blend it out. I got a hair in my eye, under my nose. Then I'm going to go back with my air sponge and I'm going to go over it. Just blend it out a little bit. I'm going to take some blush. This little scar here. Don't be shy. And this also helps if your contour is a little bit messed up. It helps bring some life into your face too. So that's my base blush that I'm going to do. A little on my nose and up here. And then, for a little bit of a lighter pink, I'm going to take this one from my Forever 21 palette. Just tap it in there. And just put it over that. And then I'm going to take these two and like go up here. looking like I have blush on so I love to put a lot of blush on you don't have to put this much blush on you really don't I promise and then I'm gonna take a little bit of this dream bounce 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 because it has a little bit of um shine in it like sheer sheen whatever you want to call it just like this and just put it on Ooh, I love it Yellow undertone or something. You feel me? Okay. Air spun to clean up underneath here. And I kind of like this. So I could see where my face shape is. Like, you know, do it unique to you. So, wherever your face is, follow it. And I'm going to take these eyelashes, they're just from Walgreens, and I'm going to trim them. 
on the end a little bit. So you just have like the little ends, okay? So I'm gonna put glue on this one and let that start to dry while I cut the other one in half. This is a good one. And then you're just gonna put it on just the edges, just the edges. Perfect. But I don't know, I feel like the brown eyeliner also really helps the purple in this glitter pop. That may be me. Okay, so now I'm going to spray the heck out of my face with some setting spray to get me ready for primer, <laughs> primer, highlighter, and then to like just mix all the powders. Hold on. Just mix all the powders together, right? I like to cover my neck, whoops, whoops, just so I don't get a whole bunch of settings spray on my neck. And I like to do this before I put on mascara. I'm gonna leave my eyebrows. I've been kind of trying to just let them go, you know what I mean? Just because. Just natural. Okay, that's all I'm trying to say. Alright. For highlighter, hmm. I'm going to use this Physician's Formula highlighter today. Try her out. And I do it, like to do it right on my cheekbone. And a little bit underneath, like not underneath my eye, but just up right here, basically under my eye. Up into this area. And a little bit on my nose. I like to also put some right here. And on my forehead a little bit. And then I'm gonna take some of the Anastasia highlighter for underneath my brow bone, cause it's really subtle. Just like that. Now I'm just gonna make sure that I cover any of the glue from my eyelashes with the same stuff. And this is CoverGirl in shade brown. I love it, guys. I love it. It is a little bit tricky to work with because like when you first start working with it but you get used to it because it's so skinny but it's so precise that you can make the smallest wing if you would like so I'm just gonna make sure that all of the glue is blended even if I gotta like go in between my eyelashes there we go just to blend my eyelashes with my fake eyelashes and I don't put on mascara before I put on my fake eyelashes I really don't see the point I feel like my eyelashes would be, would be really clumpy and already set and then I'm putting on like a really you know soft eyelash and then I gotta like just matte that already caked mascara onto the new eyelash that's just me but try it out that's what I do and I've, nev I've always done it. I've never seen the point of doing it otherwise. I really never have. I know people do it, but I don't get why. And I'm just going to blend them together. And I'm going to use the tip of it to get the, la la to get the lashes that are right in here. Just since there's no fake lash over there, I want to make sure that my real lashes are at least defined. And then I still use that edge again to get the very outer corner. 
Okay, so for my lower lash line, I'm going to take a little bit of this blush with a little brush and put it right on my lower lash line really quick, just like right on. Not along the whole bottom lash line, but just like the very middle. Right underneath my pupil. Hi. How you doing? I see you standing there. All right. I'm going to take a little bit of NYX glitter and crystal and put it right on my inner corner just to make it a little bit more bright. Just right in there. And actually all along my lower. Or pop of glitter. You standing there. Just to make sure like we really set everything together. I'll, I'll do a little bit on the brows, just setting the tails so they don't go anywhere. Just like that. And then last but not least, blender under your chin. Dab your forehead again. Get your lipstick. You know me, 800 first nude. And then to take a, away a little bit of the shine, I like to just dab it with my finger and it looks a little bit more matte. I'm gonna get my lower lash line really, really quick. I feel like since I'm wearing like a little dress with flowers on it, I'm gonna put a little yellow dot again because I really like that. Just a oh so little one. Perfect. So subtle. And then I'll cover it with eyelashes. Make like a little flower. There you go. Let's zoom in and see the verdict. I should do a bun or a braid. I think I'm gonna do a braid. Cool yourself down. Get a little mini ponytail. Perfect. I also wanted to take the time to show you guys some of the things that I actually got from Forever 21 to put on my Poshmark for you. I know some people were noticing that there's only a lot of smalls, so I wanted to get some of the things that are newer and, you know, put them on my Poshmark. So, well, sick, you know, grab it before it's too late. So here's the first guy. A really cute little tank top that is striped. It reminded me of Freddy Krueger, but I feel like you could do the cutest makeup with this. Oh, it's almost Halloween too. I mean, I saw spirit stores up. And then I did pick up two of these little guys. I have a medium and a, and a large, but they're just these little, like, crop tops. 
They're strapless. They look really, really cute. And they have little flowers on them. It's ruffled back. But it's really cute. So I got one in a medium, and I also got one in a large. I might have to go back and get one for me because they are so cute and they look so comfortable. And then I have this tank top that is an extra large and it's just this really pretty, it's like a burnt coral almost. It's so pretty or a, a tan, a dark salmon, I don't know what you would call this but it's this really pretty color and it's just a, a very simple little tank top. Just the front and back is nice and plain and simple. Perfect for summer. Perfect with skinny jeans and some heels. You could dress it up for a night out. Oh yeah. But this is in an extra large, so. And then I got this really cute strawberry crop top in medium. And so, or it's like a halter top crop top. So it has these really cute little strawberries on it. I love this. Again, cutest cutest ideas for makeup tutorials. The back is open, nice and open. So again, this is in size medium. It looks like it could fit a size large as well, but this will be up for grabs. Then I got this little watermelon crop top in a medium, like this. And um, it has just watermelon all over. Again, so freaking cute for the summer, especially with some jeans. Again, it might be able to fit a little snug on a large, but still, it is a size medium. I did get a small knitted olive colored tank top crop top thing that is so cute. It ties up on the shoulders. I want this. <laughs> I want this for myself. Look at this, you guys. It's so cute. It's just this little, tiny, little crop top. Super cute. Super, super cute. Last but not least, I wanted to just... This is a size small as well. It does look like it might be able to fit a medium. It might be a little snug, but it's just this plain white cropped sweater kind of shirt. It does look like it was cut, like, you know, of course intentionally, but... So it's got that kind of rough looking vibe, man. And it's got a crew neck collar. And it is cropped. It kind of is actually tighter. You know, it kind of fits very tight. So it would be really, really cute at night. I think this would look cute with some hoops. Going out, dude. Throwing some good heels, some cute skinny jeans, some cute black pants, whatever, dude. Yep. Okay. Okay. It's a vibe. So then there's this. So, those will all be on my Poshmark. Um, I'm probably going to either upload them tonight or tomorrow. But I did want to just show you guys what they were. And I hope you guys enjoy them. I also want to go to like thrift shops and things like that. Let me know what you guys like, like you know? So I kind of have some ideas too. Of course, I'm still selling a bunch of my clothes because I have so many items of mine. But I thought it was fun going shopping for you guys and like, you know, thinking of what would be cute to wear and stuff. So I hope you guys like this talk through tutorial. It was my first one I've ever done, so sorry if I literally didn't teach anything. I'm sorry, I'm trying. But um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys. So have some fun, listen to some music together, and just dance. Um, but yeah, no makeup is just for fun. It's not to just hide yourself, to cover yourself, to make yourself look different. Love yourself either or, all around you guys. And I hope you have an amazing night. Stay safe. Okay? Thank you for watching.